This is one of the CLI tips and tricks that I wasn't aware of. You can actually save your configuration just by logging out. Coming up. All right, so currently my configuration is quite simple. I have uh, three interfaces. I have only one policy and let's just back up the configuration again and let's look at the revisions currently I have only one revision which is my first backup so let's um, make a change let's just add up another policy let's name the policy Ubuntu and the incoming interface is the um, let's make it the LAN interface, the outgoing will be my WAN interface, source, let's make it, let's make it all, and destination, let's make the destination only to um, gmail.com, just for the sake, that, there it is, and service will be all. All right, so I have a second policy, and now instead of backing up my configuration, I will move to the command line, config system global. Now let's set the revision, revision backup on logout. Let's set it to enable. Let's end it. And now let's log out. All right. And let's just log in again. And let's look at the revision. And there I have it, automatic backup that were triggered by the logout. Now let's look at the first backup and let's select the second backup. And by right clicking on the uh, two backups and choosing diff, which is the difference, I will actually see the difference that were made between the first backup and the second backup. And there it is. That's the second policy that were added. All right, so now let's make another change. Let's just add up another interface. Let's just, um, let's add up another interface. Let's name the interface um, management. All right. That's at the 10.0.8.1 slash 24. Uh, we will use HTTPS and ping and enable the DHCP server. All right. Now let's just log out again. Let's move to the revision. And there we have it. We have a third automatic backup that was triggered by the logout itself. Now we can see details, we can see different items. And let's look at the uh, config itself. And there it is. That's the port 4 that we have just configured at the 10.0.8.1. 